Understanding, give the brush off, a guide to English idioms. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into an interesting English phrase, give the brush off. This idiom might sound a bit odd at first, but it's widely used in everyday English conversations. By the end of this video, you'll not only understand what it means but also how to use it in your own conversations. So, let's get started and unlock another secret of the English language together. To give the brush off means to dismiss someone or something in a somewhat abrupt or uninterested manner. When someone gives the brush off, they're essentially saying they're not interested in engaging with the person or the topic at hand without giving much attention or explanation. It's often used to indicate a lack of interest in continuing a conversation, a relationship, or an interaction. The phrase, give the brush off, has an interesting origin. It's believed to come from the act of literally brushing off lint or dust from one's clothing, symbolizing the dismissal of something as unimportant or bothersome. Over time, this physical act became a metaphor for dismissing people or ideas in a figurative sense. Understanding how to use an idiom can sometimes be more challenging than understanding its meaning. Let's look at a few examples to see, give the brush off, in action. In a social situation, I tried to start a conversation with Jamie at the party, but I got the brush off. In a professional context, I proposed a new project idea to my boss, but it was given the brush off in favor of more pressing matters. In relationships, after a few dates, I felt that I was getting the brush off, with shorter replies and canceled plans. These examples show the versatility of the phrase in expressing dismissal across different contexts. While, give the brush off, is a useful idiom, it's important to know when not to use it. Because it implies a certain level of dismissiveness or indifference, it might not be suitable in formal or sensitive situations where a more direct and respectful approach is required. Always consider the tone and context of your conversation when choosing to use this phrase. And that wraps up our exploration of the phrase, give the brush off. We hope this video has given you a clear understanding of what it means, its origins, and how you can use it without actually giving anyone the brush off. Remember, learning idioms is a great way to enrich your English and sound more like a native speaker. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more language learning tips. See you in the next video.